Today we're recreating one of my favorite apps because it no longer works on iOS 11 and I want to keep using it. It's one of those daily commitment apps modeled on the Seinfeld calendar where the idea is that every day you want to do something. So Seinfeld for instance wanted to write a joke every day and then you put a big red X on your calendar. After a while you get a chain and you don't want to break that chain so you just keep doing your daily habit. We want to make an app that lets you make a simple commitment in Nathan Barry's case. He's the original creator of the app. He wanted to write a thousand words every day and then you have a big shiny button that says yes I did this today and eventually you build up a streak. In this tutorial we're gonna focus on Shoutem themes for styling so we're gonna use those to style our app and make it look really really cool. Then we're gonna gloss over the Redux wiring because it's kind of boring and very repetitive. We've done that a million times and in the end we're gonna use Redux storage which is a really cool way to save everything to your async storage and just keep your sto your state safe. It's just, it's really cool, I'll show you. Let's talk about the styling first. I'm starting with an app that's got all the elements but it isn't styled yet. So we have our basic app component with the screen and a status bar that's set to white and a empty commitment that's just gonna be a placeholder for us. Then we have the commitment component which essentially renders either editing component Com editing commitment or display commitment based on whether the editing flag is set to true in state. Editing commitment has a bunch of managed input fields which I'm sure you know how to do by now or you can just look in the github repository and copy it from there. Then we have a bunch of uh, render stuff where we have a view with some text, an input field, then we have another input field with some text around it and a big circle button at the bottom. That's this thing here. Oops. Better not click on anything. Then we have display commitment, which has a bunch of logic that I'm not going to go into. The logic is there to calculate uh, streaks and stuff like that. And again, a bunch of render stuff. We have a view with some text and no input field this time. It's just text. Then we have some more text and a circle button and so on. Finally, we have the circle button, which is probably the simplest component that we have here, which is just a touchable, touchable opacity with some text. Great. So we have that. It's not styled, it looks like ass, so let's make it look better. We'll start with circle button because it's nice and small so it's easy to understand. The first thing we need is something called connect style from Shoutem team, which is actually a lot like Redux connect. It basically tells our component to connect to our global styles to, or our global team if you want. So we wrap, we wrap circle button in connect style, then we need a style constant. This is going to be our default styling for the for the component. We're going to use style.main to note to denote the main touchable opacity and style.caption for for the text itself. Now when this reloads, it still doesn't really affect how our if we add main, now we should get commit centered on the middle, which I know it isn't very obvious yet, but if we take large and small from my old code, these are these are so-called component variants. You can you can say you can use dot large and dot small much like CSS classes, except that you call them style name. And then you can compose them together and do a bunch of stuff. So if I save this and I go reload, now you see that commit has gotten big. So if we go in editing commitment and we change this large to small, you'll see you'll see this reload so it becomes smaller and that's pretty cool although I guess the small styling needs a little bit of adjustment because the font size is too big so we can do this and it becomes smaller see this is the magic of Shoutem teams you can very easily style stuff and make style variants so we say this is large and the button becomes larger now here's the really cool thing you see you see this green thing over here there's no mention of green in the default styling for our button so let's go to our main app and add a global team for our entire um, application. The way we do that is we're going to need a style provider. This is, yes, very similar to a Redux provider. So we wrap everything in a style provider and we say our style is the main team. So we have style provider. Then we need to make a new team that comes here, const team equals object sign UI team. So UI team was imported from Shoutem UI team. That's just the default styling that they have. You can take commit app circle button. 
So we take commit app circle button and we add a green variant and a transparent variant. Now if I reload, the button should be green. There you go, green button. So we defined a green variant where the main part of the button gets a lime green background and the caption becomes white. Now if I go into editing component and I change green to transparent and I reload, the button should become transparent. So you see it's, it has a white circle around it and white text and so on. If I take that out, it just become goes back to being a default unstyled thing. So that's really the cool the cool part about Shout and Teams is you can redefine you can use your main team to redefine styles of subcomponents. You can I'll show you that later, but you can actually nest things and you can have different sections of your styles and you can make variants with style name and so on. So this is really powerful and I'm going to show you how to make how to make something even cooler by redesigning the default components that our Shoutem UI comes with. We have a big green button. Now let's style everything else. First we need a nice image background which we're going to use just image which is a normal image component and you'll see that it renders kind of weirdly. It actually it's actually invisible because our everything else is kind of covering it. So what we can do is we take Shoutem UI image and we copy it from my old code to here. Ah, it doesn't work because we have to make the screen itself transparent. So I'm going to go into our into my old commitment component and we're going to add styling support there as well. So we we take connect style from Shoutem team and we're also going to need dimensions. This is just because we want to have specific width for for the whole thing. Then we connect style to our commitment component that comes here and as you can see here we can also compose multiple connects so we can connect style and connect to Redux as well now we need the default style component uh, style object and we have to take it from props so that's the main thing style now comes from props so style comes from props and we can take main so that's gonna be our main um, main screen so background color is empty there's a lot of top padding I've replaced the image so now you can see that we have a nice green button a beautiful image background but everything else still kind of looks like ass so let's try fixing that we take Shoutem UI heading and we put it in our main team and now you'll see headings become a different color and we're gonna take care of the styling in our commitment component styles we take text, title, list view, well we don't have a list view but that comes later. Great, so we have all of that now but it still doesn't look that great so let's try copying styles for everything else. Here we use day, we don't need day, day is for, day gives us the styles for the bottom streaks, then we need input. You'll see that in editing commitment we have something called style.input over here well small input and large input and if we copy styles for that then our thing should magically become nicely styled there you go our inputs look a lot better now but they still they're still missing a couple of things so let's take text commitment and small text voila everything looks great now so I can type here I can do some typing over here and if I click commit nothing happens because I didn't copy over the right I need the Redux wiring for all of that. So I'm just gonna switch to the app that I originally built for this and show you how it works over there. The main thing I wanted to show you today was the, the styling part. See, instead of putting a bunch of styles everywhere and copy pasting them and so on, well, I did copy paste from my old code. What we did was we just, we could have styles in a central location and they applied everywhere. We can also use nesting as you see here, we have small input, which is a view here. And then it's children text inputs have this kind of stuff. So if I change, uh, let's say I change the color, you'll see it change pretty much immediately. See, it becomes more red. That's kind of the power of Shout and Teams. You can uh, style nested components, you can define styles that you can reuse everywhere, and you gen generally use an almost Redux-like structure for your style. Basically, what the way it works is it takes your ma main team or everything, I guess you could call it cascading, it basically takes everything in the chain of connected styles, puts them together, and then pushes that to React Native as a style object. Unfortunately, I ran out of time to breeze through all the Redux stuff that I said I would do, but you can read it all in the article that I linked below. It's all there, I promise it's all there.